गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेरी मेडियोकिटी माय नेम इज दिव्यांशी जैन एंड आई एम अ सेकंड ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एट अना मेडिकल कॉलेज मॉरिशियस एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द 17 एनुअल ग्लोबल हेल्थ केयर समिट दैट हैपेंड एट एम्स दिल्ली द लार्जेस्ट मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट इन इंडिया एंड इट वाज सच एन अमेजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर all of us to attend that event because you know we are foreign medical students people consider themselves lucky if they get a number in aims even as a student and even as a patient So this was my first time visiting Ames Delhi and the metro dropped me at gate number 1 so I had to walk all over Ames to reach gate number 2 where we had the auditorium While walking I realized that this college is so 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 huge I mean walking from gate number 1 to 2 was such a such a such a big task and then finally this road that we all get to see in YouTube videos and everywhere came and i was like oh my god i finally reached mujhe to laga main kho hi jaungi varna so finally i found that uh, global healthcare summit wala board wo blue mein samne okay i finally reached and this is the registration desk uh here we had a lot of um, you know exhibitions and everything a lot of brands and small businesses came to promote themselves there quite a problem but uh, this is not what i came for so i came for this panel discussion which was going to happen in the auditorium so i'm just looking for the auditorium and okay here it is ye bahar khana wana ban raha tha and has the auditorium and currently it's empty because nobody really came i came like very 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 early while all arrangements were being made on behalf of global 17 global health care summit 2024 i welcome you all to this inaugural ceremony and to the summit i'm sure with the scientific <coughs> program and such a nice the fiesta all of us will get benefited for the better patient care i welcome all the delegates and the faculty from usa who has come all the way to attend this and also indian delegates and the faculty i'm sure we'll have good exchange of knowledge especially in the field of recent advances ai and robotic surgery so from here i welcome our india convener Uh, Dr. Chinchal Pal to take from here. She is the convener of uh, Delhi GHS. She is also the past president of IMA South Delhi branch, and she is a uh, very renowned ENT surgeon at the Indus Apollo Hospital. So I welcome Dr. Chinchal Pal. Please give her a huge round of applause. Thank you, Shubha. Good morning, everybody, and very happy New Year. Before we start, let's uh, let's call some dignitaries on the dais. May request Dr. Indrapal Chabra please take to take the chair. So we will have inaugural function when our chief guest come in the afternoon. So we are just opening the CME session with opening remark. So all. I'm going to do this. I'll talk to you about it afterwards. <laughs> we have been both went to the same class in in uh, 1986. Uh, I can take some of the fun out of them. <laughs> so of course Dr. Shivas our host thank you so much for being here at the Institute of Health and uh, you may not know in 1985 there used to be a course in BSc in neurobiology I was a student here at that time and then in 86 I went to Kolkata <laughs> and uh, Dr. Anjana Samada she's the president of ARTI very dynamic lady if you for those of you who noticed uh, something she is she had survived against all odds during the covid pandemic in the last 7 8 decades we've made considerable progress now in higher education and this is just a snapshot of, of where we are 
We have 149 institutes of national importance, more than 1,000 universities, more than 50,000 colleges. We have the fourth highest number of doctoral graduates in the world, the fourth highest research output in the world. We produce 6.5 million graduates every year, 1.5 million engineers, 300,000 MBAs, and 100,000 graduates. We have 23 IITs, 20 IIMs, and I'm highlighting the IIMs and IITs because Indians now hit 25 global companies that have a combined market cap of more than $5 trillion. And there are only three countries in the world that actually have an economy bigger than $5 trillion, and most of them is to heal the global aging citizens. So that's all about day one. See you in next vlog. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.